Hello folks and welcome back. We're going to be looking at uh, one of Mr. Tom Morello's more unusual techniques and that we're not going to be using a plectrum. No, 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 no. We're using good old Allen key for this. So grab yourself one of these little bad boys. If you can see that. First of all, let's have a little look at the tones. You're going to need a humbucker, ideally in neck position or a P90 or something like that. Um, it might still work with single coils, actually. I haven't tried it, but something beefy in the neck. Um, it won't work in the bridge. I will show you why. <laughs> That's bridge, right? Neck. Boom, we're there, right? Now I'm using the Empress Heavy because it's got a built-in noise gate. Okay, so if I turn the noise gate off, whenever I stop, I get that hum, right? But with the noise gate on, nothing, right? Which is what we want to hear. You might not get as much noise with a, a humbucker as, a, as you will do with a P90, but you know, experiment around. You can get noise gates super cheap as well if you just want to get that. So that's the setup you need tone-wise, okay? Now I'm kind of holding it like that, okay? You know, I'm using it like almost like a plectrum really, right? I'm not holding it like that. I'm actually supporting the, uh, the, th the small end, okay, like that, right? You want to be aiming pitch-wise and you, you want to start each motion going back towards the bridge, okay? In, you know, find the area where it sounds like So for me, that is kind of midway between the pickups up to the edge of that bridge pickup, okay? So that's all I'm aiming for. And when you bring it forward, yeah, you let that ring out. And then I'm deadening the string down with my with my left hand, okay? My, my left hand looks like it's muting, it's not, right? The strings are open, so it'll be... So I'm just using it to deaden down that last one, right? Um, the other thing to do, so if you see my arm, it's about there, right? Once you find this position, then anchor your arm where it's comfy, right? And you can use that for the next part, right? It'll be in the right place then, okay, for the, for the second riff. That quickly is... So you do a sweeping motion for the last one. So it's one, two, three, four, five... And then a sort of sweeping motion forwards for that. So you're almost picking up with the with the edge of it, right? You know, using it like a sort of little pick, right? Again, I'll give you a close up of this in a sec, but I just want to get these bits uh, down, right? So you've got. So you can get a little bit of a flourish in there, right? With the last one. So close up, man, look at that finish. Sparkly, I love it. Right, so, before I get distracted, it's like this. So it's a, a little zing away from the strings. So again. So I'm resting it at a bit of an angle. like that then with my finger like that much more control for the next riff you're on the next string down okay and this time you're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight one two three four and then you do the first fret to the third fret on the low E but I actually use the um, the the end of this, the tip of this, to get a little bit under the string and use it like a pick, just so you get that that attack on the first note. Again, nothing on the fretboard until that last bit. Now the last 
last time, it actually just plays six times. Like that, and then you hit the first fret. Probably want to use your second finger rather than your first. All right, so you're gonna get up to the, the 21st fret. For two beats at the end. Okay, so that's slowly. So a quick zoom out for the last part. And that, my friends, is how it's done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.